wants and then Hi everyone, in today's video I am going to repot my variegated monstera and I am repotting it back into soil. Not semi hydroponics because it's such a large established plant and I don't have a moss pole that would be large enough for the one that it would need. So I am just going to repot it right back into soil which is kind of weird. I haven't done that in a very long time. Yeah, so that's on the agenda today. I need to go out and get some soil today. This is where it is right now. It has been growing for me. I've had it since December when my husband got it for me for Christmas. I know it needs to be repotted because I've been watering it and it's been drying out pretty quickly and also some of the newer growth. Look how small this newer growth is. Yeah, other than that, this plant is really happy, doing well, and I love it so much. I am gonna head out right now and get the soil. My favorite kind of soil is at a specific nursery, so I'm also gonna check out some plants there. Probably not get any, but we shall see. Okay. I'm gonna head out. I made it to the nursery and there's actually no one in here, which is surprising because it's a Sunday. And look at all these snake plants. Big ones for $30. These large monsters, you want see what this is? They're actually only 25 bucks. Oh, you can't really see there. These are even bigger Montero de Luciosa. This one is 65 but 20 percent off. They are huge. There are so many Monstera Deliciosas around here and I remember when I first got into houseplants how difficult it was to just find a single Monstera anywhere and now they're all over Home Depot. I went to Home Depot yesterday and I found huge ones for only $30 and they came in a really cute pot. So if I was already moved in I would buy another one because I love Monstera Deliciosas. Fiddly Wait, look how cute these are. So small. I've never seen them this small. Hand comparison. This is the burgundy one. This is the Taniki. This is a nice size ficus elastica for $13.99. I used to have a ficus audrey if you remember from videos that are far back but I had a much smaller one and look how large this one is. It's so beautiful. I rehomed my ficus audrey. This one is huge and $200 but I think if I were to get another one for my new home then I would want it to be a really really large one. Look how pink this one is. And it's huge. $200. Look how big this whole event is. So big. And it is $60 but 20% off. They have this large Pylea Papillonia for $20. And this Papillonia Ripple one of the green varieties and it is $13.99. They have so many Pocos and Joys. When I first got into houseplants, I was looking for one and I couldn't find it anywhere and now they're everywhere. I'm in the succulent section and oh my gosh, look what I just found. Also, I forgot to mention, if you were wondering about the camera quality, it's because I am on my phone. I had to charge my camera because I do want to film my repotting later. And I might be the only person on social media who does not have a string of hearts already until today. Check it out. I spent the longest time just choosing the best one. So this one has pretty big hearts at the top. I wanted to see the one that had the fullest top part and then also the longest trails. So this one was it. There was no price on it when I was looking at it and then the employee came over right when I was looking at it and he stuck all of these on it. So $19.99. At Mickey's it was like $15 but it wasn't as full and I think it was smaller than this one. This one is really, really nice and I'm so excited. Plants, when they get trendy, it's really hard to find and then they start showing up everywhere. Right now, I never really see string of hearts anywhere, but they grow like crazy. This normal one grows really, really fast. I do want the variegated version too because it's pink and white and cute. Oh, 
the whole reason why I came here was for soil and this is what I got. I talked about this in a video before when I repotted my fiddly fig and ficus audrey. I have a feeling that my variegated monstera is going to use up almost this entire bag. We shall see. We made it home in one piece. This is how I brought it home. It didn't shake too much because it was against the car door. I am finally repotting my variegated monstera. How I know that it needs to be repotted is that it's putting out much smaller growth and also it's drying up pretty fast. It's drying up before a week and I checked yesterday and I was gonna repot it yesterday but I decided to wait till today to film a video on it. The roots are kind of squished up. Only if you look really closely. I don't know if you'll be able to tell on video. I stopped by Home Depot and I picked up this. It's not my favorite but I figured instead of getting a real terracotta pot I would just get this plastic one so I could stick it in a woven basket because I like that look. This comes apart and there's drainage holes at the bottom and that's the saucer for it. This was like $6 maybe. I just stopped by a nursery and I picked up my favorite soil. This is EB Stone Organics, Edna's Best Potting Soil. So I've used this in the past before for anything that needs soil, but obviously if you've been watching my channel, then you know that I don't use soil very often anymore. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna put the saucer back on. I'm gonna take this out. This is going to be like a whole ordeal because it has this giant hole in it. And I try to wait until the soil is pretty dry to repot because it usually makes it easier. Except for now. I'm assuming the roots are kind of crazy. It normally is not this hard. And I normally do things by myself. <laughs> but this one is a two-person job apparently. Oh my gosh. This is take three with a butter knife. We're going to try to go around it with a butter knife. And if this doesn't work, then I'm going to cut the pot. I feel like all roots in here. So good. Okay. Okay, and now we're gonna try it again. Oh my gosh, yes, this really needed to be repotted. Check that out. So the bottom is just straight roots. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, now I need to loosen it up. So, I wanted the soil to be dry. It just makes it easier, usually, to make the soil just fall right off. Wait, December till now, that's seven months? This is all roots. Do you see this? Absolutely insane. Like the bottom's completely matted. That's why it's taking so much longer than I thought. I really thought I could do this by myself, but luckily I'm not. <laughs> okay, I've been in this Asian squat for like, how long has it been? It's been a little while. My lungs are going numb. How did my ancestors do this? <laughs> I don't know how long that took, but finally did it. Just gonna pour some into the bottom. I'm gonna plop this in. Push it down a little bit. Then I'm gonna just start pouring in the rest. I'm gonna come over to this side. One more. It's feeling good right now. So I learned I don't like repotting orange plants today. <laughs> I'm sweating. This is the worst end of the day. I'm pushing it down now. Oh, I think I did get enough soil. Okay. Okay. We're almost done. Okay. Now, I have everything out of the bag. Just gonna push it down. Okay. We're done! So I'm gonna water it and then I'm actually gonna spray the soil down with my plant spray just in case. And then I probably got a lot of soil on the leaves so I'm gonna spray everything down and wipe it off. Cause doing this outside, there's a chance that some like gnats came by so I don't want to have an infestation in the house. Where? I, Where? I, 
announce and then oh, oh my god yeah. I think my ring is <gasps> your wedding ring? No, not my wedding ring. Dang it! Hang on. What you want to draw? Oh my god, found it, found it, found it. <laughs> That's gonna be edited out. <laughs>